I live in Texas and I grew up in California and California I feel is a lot more healthy minded if that is even a like grammatically correct but um, Texas where I live we're finally coming around and we're getting healthy foods but a lot of times the things that I'm looking for I have to travel to Austin or Houston which is about hour hour and a half away to get and so I love when I find a good deal online because it's just convenient to have it show up at your door. So I have been using Thrive Market off and on for a couple of years, but I have a 25% off coupon that you can actually use that I use. So I was able to get 22 items for $45 and 62 cents. And so with me recently finding out a lot of my food allergies, as well as being diagnosed with PCOS, it completely changed my diet that I needed to follow. Um, not completely, but I mean, there's things that I need to have to be able to um, ex exclude dairy, exclude nuts, exclude wheat, and it's just not available at my my local grocery store. So um, I got my box. It just it was delivered. I ordered it, I think, like four or five days ago. So it was super quick. Shipping. Um, I got um, chickpea flour, which is something that I've been told over and over again, because when you're allergic to nuts and dairy um, and, and wheat, it's really hard to have anything with flour in it because um, almost everything um, keto wise is cheese um, bases um, or almond flour and or whole wheat flour and so i was told that this is really good so i'm going to try that so i got two big bags of that um a pound a little over a pound and a half each bag so three pounds i also was told that this flour is great again it's gluten-free grain-free and nut-free finally something for somebody like myself it's also non-gmo paleo um so that's great uh my kid likes mac and cheese so i get this kind it's rice pasta i do like the annie's homegrown for it um as you can see it doesn't have any gluten in it either um also i got this so these are amazing i've got two big old bags of this and so this is something that i just recently started using um, as a replacement for flour and i mean not flour for noodles and for rice and this is shirataki noodles. Um, what's amazing is the nutritionist that I have been working with um, actually said that you can eat, you know, pretty much all of these because they really count as a veggie. So that's super awesome. They're easy to make. Um, what I love about it is they're um, the net carbs are zero because um, you have two grams of carbs, two grams of fiber. And when you're looking at any type of food with carbs, you want to make sure that there's at least one gram of fiber per um, 10 grams of carbs. So obviously this is great. Another thing you're looking for that really doesn't count here, but just a tip is that you want to make sure that your protein and your sugar um, grams are the same or at least uh, at least the same or your protein grams of protein are higher than your sugar so that's a good rule of thumb is one gram of fiber for every 10 grams of carbs and equal or if not more grams of protein for sugar so anyways this is um, 10 calories as well i'm not big on counting calories but these are noodles and then um in here this i have i got some with spinach um and also a replacement for rice and another one of the items i got were these snack crackers um 19 grams or 19 calories um it's gluten-free again this is so hard for me is trying to find things that are wheat and gluten-free and nut-free but i found these and again when i was searching on the thrive market this is what i look for again that there was at least one gram of fiber for uh 10 grams of carbs and then there was more protein than sugar and so three of these um is 57 calories so i got two of those as well um then i got this because i love chocolate and i'm cutting out all sugar um because of being diagnosed with pcos and insulin resistant but i found this as 85 percent um cocoa so um if you look at it you want it the five sections are 250 calories but again here's the thing five grams of carb or, or fiber sorry five grams of fiber and nine um grams of carbs so this is great and then um you know the protein is less than the sugar but hey every once in a while having a splurge is no big deal it's all about balance and i'm um, really focusing on um just making sure that you don't feel deprived, but you're not going all out. 
Another thing that I got where this is what my kiddo likes. Um, I try not to give them too much processed food, but every once in a while, you know, I'm not perfect. And I try to find the best um, for them. And so my son Rebel, who's almost eight, loves these. Barry and he and our they carry this in our local grocery store. But they didn't have this in the grocery store. So I got them that. And again, I got 22 items for $45. And again, I have a 25% off coupon code that I am more than happy to share with you. And if you spend a certain amount, you get free shipping like I did. Um, and then I also got, I can't even remember what I got. I got so much stuff days ago. Sorry for the loud racket. But they box everything up great so it comes to you in one piece. Oh, oh, here it is. Um, I got the apple cider vinegar. And so when... Um, you can find stuff online that's cheaper than in the store. Grab it, especially when you have free shipping. And that's the one thing about these shirataki noodles. I think they were, I'm going to look at the paper here. Um, it doesn't say, but if I remember correctly, it was like $2 and 30 cents per bag. Um, and at the grocery store, when I bought some in the next town over again, like I said, we live in a rural area and I have to travel. Um, a lot out of the town to get the foods I want, then they were like $5 and it was super expensive because I would eat a whole bag. So the, for this to be two something and then the 25% off, that's a hell of a steal. So I got the angel hair. I've got the um, regular noodles. Obviously doing this with one hand is very tough. Um, and then this one is spinach and what was the other one? Uh the brown rice uh, replacement. So anyways, I'm super excited to share this with you. Whenever I find great steals, I try to share it with everyone so that they can take advantage of it as well. But if you're in the rural area, cause I work with so many clients that live in the middle of nowhere, like BFE, like me, and they're like, I can't even find this or that. So when you find these alternatives and you get free shipping, you save money, why not? So anyways, um, if you have any um, websites that you use to find good organic goodies, then share with me. Oh, another great website, it's called brandless.com. They have gluten-free stuff and actually organic stuff. It just has no um, brand. And so that what's, what, what happens most of the time is when you're buying something, you're purchasing it for the brand. You're paying for the name brand. So anyways, try out brandless.com. You can find a lot of great stuff. They don't have a huge, huge um, inventory like Thrive Market, but you can find a lot of goodies there.